Set. Gates are back, and they race in your way, double distilled but scratchy off the mark. Oriental Charm got a clean break. Tenango right there out of gate one. House of Sussex Club Blue with a black cap run for me at the outside of the pace. Tenango just had to snatch back with quite competition for the lead. Nordic Chief races away in fifth place and about four lanes off the leader. The pace is on. Lindbergh is at the outside of Spelling B. Then comes He's a Gaul about midfield. Bitter Mint is further back. Then comes Don't Stop Believing. Willie John switched off. So too Cops of Klopsa. Many lanes away to double the still who's battling to keep up. About to round the turn just over 600 meters left to run oriental charm in front but not being left alone by run for me then we go two three lanes away to tenango the blue sleeves and the blue cap with house of sussex the club blue next best nordic chief picked off a couple that race towards the far side the indigo sleeves and cap and working a lot closer Lindbergh not to be caught flat-footed follows that further back to spelling b and he's a gauze they race down towards the final 250 oriental charm Lindbergh up the inside gets closer tenango Tenango nearest us, Nordic Chief still got two lanes to make up, Oriental Charm, Tenango nearest us, and Lindbergh in a three-way fight in the run down to the wire, and it's Oriental Charm who won. Oriental Charm, Lindbergh, Tenango, fourth, maybe Nordic Chief overrun for me. Race two, Hollywood Bets, Dermville Country Series, maiden plate over the 1250, has been won by the first time in number six, Oriental Charm, son of Versing Getrix. Well done to Melikaya Botlari. He looks after Oriental Charm, so well done to him for his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets and also Cape Racing. Oriental Charm, trained by Brett Crawford. Brett, well done. Thanks, Vicky. I think uh, not only this race, but the previous race, your first time was a really uh, one or ran well. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the source, I was actually quite surprised the speed he had out the gates. Um, you know, I still said to Raymond, just don't let him get left. You know, you got the draw, try keep him in the race. And it was completely the opposite. He came out, he, he raced hard. In fact, maybe raced a little bit too hard. Um, Raymond said then he, he was struggling to take the turn a bit. Luckily, we had a horse on our outside. Um, so, you know, in saying all of that, the fact that he still fought on and kept his head in front, I think it's a tribute to him. Very gutsy win. So I'm um, very happy with that. Very well done to, it's nice to have Gina on course. Um, and of course to, to Greg. And um, I'm not sure if Leon would have watched. Might be a bit early in America for him, but we'll definitely get the, the video to him. And just a big thanks to them for this, uh, the support. Um, I think he's a horse that will learn to race. And I think, um, you know, from what I saw today, I'm sure we can have a bit of fun with the sauce. Most certainly. Well done, Brett. Yeah, and well done to Sander. Yeah, well done, Brett Crawford. Uh, conditioner of uh, number six, Oriental Charm. Raymond Danielson's going to come across and uh, chat to him. He was the jockey aboard. And uh, Raymond, uh, Brett's already mentioned that, you know, leading up to the race, he, he sort of gave you instructions and uh, maybe you could call it a bit of an unexpected win. Yeah, look, um, they were obviously expecting him to be a little bit green, um, but when I took him out the track on the way to the start, I could, I could feel he was quite forward today. Maybe he was just quite awake today, and uh, that's why I said he's got a lot more to come because I, I felt like he he raced with more aggression than with uh, with his ability. So um, that's why he was out the gate so fast, up there quite keenly, and and not trying to uh, not taking the bend in the beginning. So a lot a lot to come from this horse because at the 400. He um, has still had a ton in hand, and when those horses joined me, he, he fought him off nicely. Do you think that it's a good attribute of, of how he showed, you know, be it quite a challenging finish? Do you think that it was a very positive thing? Yes, the positive thing about him today was the, that um, when challenges came, he didn't want them to to uh, come past, which shows a fight of a horse. Uh, the negative was obviously the way he raced. So that's why there's so much more to come, because when he relaxes, he's going to have a lot more and a finish to give you. So a lot to look forward to. Well, Raymond, now that we're seeing you more in the cap, well done for, for the win. Yeah, thanks to Mr. Crawford, obviously his whole team. Thank you for the winner. To Gina, Mr. Borch, thank you so much for the winner. Um, if I might, might be correct, I think this might be my first win in these colours, so hopefully many more. Well done. Thank you. And that's Raymond Danielson. Next up, uh, Gina Goldsmith's going to come across and, uh, and chat to me. And Gina, you uh, now have to tell us, Bloodstock agent wise, because I know you and Greg always have who picks them. Who was this one selection? This was Brett. This had nothing. <laughs> this had nothing to do with either of us. Um, and uh, very surprised, but uh, it's amazing, amazing that he won. Um, but yeah, an amazing surprise. <laughs> and also quite an exciting finish. I mean, it was awfully close between all of those horses. Absolutely. I didn't expect him to fight it out like he did. So it's very exciting. And um, well done to Leon. I hope he's watching in Miami. Um, he's our partner. But yeah, just very exciting, and uh, I think he'll have a nice future ahead of him. 
Indeed. Well done to, <laughs> to Brett for that and well done for the win. Thank you. And well done to Greg. I'm, I know he's watching. <laughs> and well done to Sandon for breeding him. Well done. And Raymond for a great ride. Now I'm officially done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Gina. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> well done uh, to Gina and also well done to uh, Greg and, uh, and Vion. Lovely partnership and they've got a whole bunch of horses that they love to enjoy. But uh, nice surprise by the sounds of it from number six, Oriental Charm. Well done to Shevely Stud uh, for breeding uh, the son of Ursingetrix, who looks like a horse that will be progressive. So well done. Fun partnership to uh, enjoy a lovely horse in the future.